one thing about the leopards is they attack. They, get, they bite everybody, not just one. And the arrow hit about a foot to the left, but still was a very lethal killing shot. So we got our first trophy here. Now we got our bait for our leopards. So stay tuned. Watch the next segment of this ultimate shot. See if we get that big Ethiopian leopard here on bait. For bait, so. Yeah. Got success with our bushbuck. It looks like a big male came in and ripped it all apart. We'll probably set up here tonight. In today's episode, you're going to see probably the greatest footage of the largest male leopard ever to appear in daylight and be taken by bow and arrow. So it's been a long morning and we were in the blind and snuck in in the dark, no lights, set up, and within 20 minutes, the big leopard showed up. Beautiful female, she was there for at least two and a half, three hours, and fed several times, lay underneath the bait a couple of times, scratched and pawed, and finally, uh, Felt that there was something wrong. Realized there was something wrong with our blind and movement she'd seen or something. Something she sensed. She came over, came right close to the blind, probably 10 feet. Didn't spook for whatever reason, didn't smell us. And uh, went back to the bait, fed again. Waited for a while, listened to the other leopard growling below her and finally she walked off and we waited for about an hour and came out. So we'll check our baits and see what we're going to do this afternoon and hopefully we'll be back on bait waiting for that big male to come in. We're down to our last couple of days and uh, still no male leopards. We've got four or five active baits, and until this morning, every one of them we thought was just a female. This bait was basically the whole front quarters of a warthog yesterday, even last night when we were up here. And during the night, it looks like a big male came in and ripped it all apart, took all the rest of the meat, and left. And uh, it's so aggressive and violent, the way it was feeding, that Jason believes that it's a big male. So luckily the female has been feeding here for about four days. So we don't think he's got enough meat that he won't come back. So we're gonna rebate here with the bush buck we just got about half an hour ago. 
And we've got our blind set up here. Our Ameristep blind has been here for about four days. There's no sand around. Everything's the way it was four days ago. So there's gonna be no movement and no change and no, no scent. And we'll probably set up here tonight and uh, see if a big male comes back. If we check our other bait and there's a big male there, we'll may sit there because it's just a little bit better set up and we got a chance of bush pig and maybe giant forest hog. But at least we got a male coming here now for sure. So let's see what happens. The screams of the colobus monkey could mean only one thing, that they had noticed in the shadows of the trees and the high grass the presence of their silent mortal enemy. An enemy that had so often caught and fed on many of their species and family unit. The monkey's deathly cries were of fear and horror. Something very big was getting very close and the suspense was almost too much to take. about 20 yards away. We should go look at him. Come back. Okay. I better get an arrow. Get another one of these muzzies. 